magic square it has equal number of rows and equal number of columns so for example if it is 3 by 3 square means so there will be three squares horizontally 3 3 and vertically 3 3 so 3 into 3 there will be 9 sub squares so minimum magic square is 3 by 3 followed by 4 by 4 which has 16 houses for this side 4 vertically so it has 4 rows and 4 columns followed by 5 by 5 or 25 sub squares 6 by 6 and so on so you might have come across such squares filled with numbers and the magic square it means that the numbers which are there in the sub squares their vertical horizontal and diagonal sum is same so let us start with a 3 by 3 square so as they contain 1 to uh, they contain 9 squares we can fill up the numbers from 1 to 9 in such a way that the sum vertically horizontally as well as diagonally it will be same there are many ways to fill such numbers but I am dealing with very method as Swamiji has told that wherever mathematics is there there you can apply various Vedic formulae and here I have applied the formula Paravarti Yojayet and English version of this is transpose and apply So what is meant by transpose? Suppose if we get algebraic term is a plus b is equal to c. So when we transpose b from left hand side to right hand side, so plus b becomes minus b. If it is 4b is equal to 8, b is equal to multiplication becomes division so addition becomes subtraction multiplication becomes division subtraction becomes addition so reverse action takes place so here also we will be using the formula paravartya usually if we take a continuous numbers from say 1 to 9 or whatever it is so 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1. So we are using Eka Dike Napurvayana. Or you can have any arithmetic progression series. So you start from any number. Maintain the difference. 3 plus 2, 5 plus 2, 7 plus 2 and so on. Likewise the series of numbers with AP. That common difference being 2, 2, 2, 2 here. You can have 3, 3, 4, 4, whatever number you want. So first we will see. So just I will write the answer for 1 to 9. So if you observe the vertical sum. 7 and 8, 9 and 6, 9 and 6, so it is 15, 
Diagonally, 852 or 456, it is also 50. So, the sum vertically, horizontally, and diagonally, it is 50. So, for 3 by 3, the easiest method is just to will see. So, this is a 3 by 3 square. Just the center square you increase by all four sides. Your main diagonal is this parallel to this from this and parallel to this from this. So there are three diagonals. Each diagonal will contain 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. These are the three squares which contain in under these diagonals. Now when we want to write the numbers, we have to maintain a particular direction. Here afterwards we will use this direction which is northeast direction. So we will write numbers from 1 to 9 and we will start from 1, 2, 3. Maintain the same direction. Now if you observe this structure you can see that inside this square these four subsquares are blank and these are the extra squares outside the squares. So the formula paravarti yojet or transpose and apply. So just we have seen plus becomes minus, minus becomes plus, multiplication becomes division. Here left becomes right, right becomes left, top becomes bottom bottom becomes top. So 7 left to right, 3 right to left, 9 top to bottom and 1 in the top. So this is your magic square. Just you can compare it. It is the same. So the sum of these rows columns and diagonals is 50. So let us take one more square. Let us start from any number. Let us take the difference. So let us start from 5 maintaining the difference of 3, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 3, 11, plus 3, 14 and so on. So we will fill up in the similar fashion. So top becomes bottom, bottom becomes top, left to right right to left. So this is our magic square. Now the sum will be how much? In this case it was 15. Here it may be different and that will always be 3 times the center. The so center number is 17. So the sum will be 51. Horizontally, vertically and diagonally you will find that the sum is 50. Here the number 5 is there at the center. So 15 was the sum. So in case of odd magic squares,
there is a common method So the after 3 by 3, 4 by 4 is u1 square, 5 by 5 is odd, 6 by 6 u1, 7 by 7 odd. So 3, 5, 7, 9 or 3 by 3, 5 by 5, 7 by 7, 9 by 9, they are all odd squares. So there is a common method for writing the numbers and using the same formula transpose and apply. So now 5 by 5 contains 25 numbers to be filled or 25 squares to be filled. Let us start with a series 1 to 25 numbers. The procedure is first write the first number here it is 1 at the center of the top row. So 2 here, 2 here, this is the center and you write the number 1. Maintain northeast direction we get 2 and by using paravarti yujit this number top to bottom in it comes then fill up in the same direction so that 4 comes here outside to inside then followed by direction 5 northeast later on next column and uh, next square is filled when it is filled just go one step down that is six seven eight so nine comes over here so ten is out next one is filled so go one place down If we go in the same direction, there is no square vertically or horizontally. So one place down, 17 here, 18 down, 1 to 25 numbers or whatever the series is there that can be filled and what would be the total magic sum the center square is 13 and the sum is always center number 5 by 5 means 13 into 5 65 is the magic sum so if you add these vertical columns or horizontal or diagonal the sum will be 65 so depending on what numbers you take there will be different sums so in this way <coughs> we can fill any odd squares so 3 by 3 5 by 5 7 by 7 9 by 9 now the 3 by 3 square which we have filled up with different method earlier. Now we will use the same method. So the number 1 written at the center of the top row followed by north east direction. 2 is out. We are taking it in. 3 is out. Taking it in. Next one is filled. So go down. Go down. So the same magic square with using this formula directly you can write the numbers. Now let us take one example of 4 by 4 square. So 4 by 4 square it has 16 houses or small squares, 16 small squares. So we will be filling all these 16 numbers. 
the procedure will be different over here because there is no center square over it. For odd squares, you may get two this side, two that side, one this side, one that side, and you will get the center. But if it is two this side, two this side, there is no square at the center. So whatever work we have to do, it will be inside the square only. And here, the paravarti yoga that are transpose and apply the meaning changes. So here there are four rows. So we'll bifurcate the numbers say one to sixteen in four groups. Group one, group two, group three, group four. So group one is one to four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So here the meaning of paravarti yoga is clockwise and anti-clockwise. We will have to balance the numbering in such a way that clockwise numbers and anti-clockwise numbers they exactly coincide and here one to four and thirteen to sixteen they will be filled up in column one and four only And each column will have one number, so it starts. If we write one to four, so it is one over here, two, three, four. So that we have written like this. So it is anti-clockwise direction. So remaining is thirteen to sixteen. We will be filling it only in these two squares. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So it is like this. It is clockwise direction. So one, two, three, four, anti-clockwise. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, clockwise. So now first and last. Numbers or groups, they are filled up from left side. Now, to compensate, we will be filling the second and third group from the other side. So here also we will maintain the same thing: five, six, seven, eight, anti-clockwise. Like this, so which is anti-clockwise, and remaining nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So here, when the group two and group three are there, and here, group one and. Group four. So in this way, we can easily fill the sixteen numbers, and the vertical, horizontal, diagonal sum will be thirty-four. And how to find? That is the first number plus last number. Into two. So here the first number is one, last number is sixteen. So one plus sixteen is seventeen into two. Thirty-four is the sum of this square. So by maintaining any arithmetic progression series, you can find the magic sum. Especially 
for 4 by 4 magic squares. Now you have seen 4 vertical, 4 horizontal. Two diagonal. So in ten ways you have found out the sum being thirty-four. Now when we bifurcate exactly, you are getting four squares here, 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 and the sum of one plus fourteen plus twelve plus seven. This is also thirty-four. 11, 8, 13, 2. This is also 34. 10, 5, 16, 3, 34. 15, 4, 6, 9 is also 34. If we take this center square 7, 6, 10, 11 added together will give 34. So just you observe in how many ways you can get this magic sum. 4 corners 1 plus 4 plus 16 plus 13. It will give also 34. These sides 12 plus 9 plus 8 plus 5. This will also give 34. 14 plus 15 plus 3 plus 2 this will also give 34 so the magic square uh, 4 by 4 filled up in this way it will give the magic sum in so many ways so just we have seen how the odd and even magic squares can be filled with numbers with arithmetic progression series so that you can get the magic sum vertical, horizontal and diagonal. So then by using geometric progression series instead of arithmetic progression you will get the magic square of products. But as the geometric series it the number increases fold wise. So, one is to if you maintain the ratio 1 is to 2, 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 8 is to 16, so the number goes on increasing. So, one procedure to reduce such big numbers is to maintain vertical and horizontal ratio. If say it is 1 is to 2 and 1 is to 3, means we are maintaining horizontally ratio 1 is to 2. So if we start with this and so on and vertically we maintain the ratio 1 is to 3, 3 is to 3, 9 is to 3 like that. So the ratio between any two horizontal numbers is 1 is to 2 and between vertical is 1 is to 3. So 8 is to 24, 8 1 is 8, 8 3 is 24 or 6 3 is 18 and if you take horizontally 9 to the 18, 6 to the 12, 4 to the 8, 108 to the 216 and so on. So we are maintaining this. So for 3 by 3, just we will take one example, we can fill it in the same form. So let us take 3, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 2, 4, 3, 6, 12 
and 9 18 36. So this is the 3 by 3 magic square of product and in case of sum it was 3 times the center number but now it is cube of center number that is 6 cube. So magic square of product is 216 in this case. So in the similar fashion 3 by 3, 5 by 5, 7 by 7 can be filled up. So you first you have to select the numbers in different ratios so that you will get a set of numbers and accordingly you can fill this. So now it is 4 by 4, 1, 2, 4, 8 like this, 3, 6, 12, 24. 9, 18, 36, 72, 27, 54, 108, 216. So it is the magic square, 4x4 magic square is there and its value is 46,656 So 1 into 72 into 24 into 27 or these 4 or these 4 these 4 vertically, diagonally, horizontally you will get the magic product for this series is 46,656. So in this way magic square of sums as well as magic square of products can be easily done.